Hello, my name is Said Gibansa. I am a four-year uh, volunteer here at Clark's Community Health Center. Throughout these four years, I've done various things such as uh, check-in volunteer, vitals. I've done a lot of checkout as well, and I'm overall a coordinator at this clinic. Um, throughout my experiences here, uh, I've, I've really gained a new perspective on healthcare uh, in, in America, especially in America of those who are underprivileged and underserved. Um, volunteering here has really made me made my eyes open to um, the the shortcomings of, of our healthcare system. You know, I've seen very sick patients here that that really deserve much better, but they can't for whatever reason. Maybe an immigration status, maybe due to financial complications, unemployment, whatever the case may be. Um, as far as the clinic goes, on a Sunday, uh, we have patients that line up sometimes 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we officially open our doors at 9 o'clock just so these patients can have a place to stay, you know, inside rather than outside. We, we are open at from 10 to 2, um, but of course we opened our doors beforehand and we leave a lot later than 2 o'clock uh, on Sundays. Um, as far as patients go, we see anywhere from 35 to 60 patients any given Sunday which is a large workload. You know, we have anywhere from four to six providers, medical providers a week. And I, I do believe that uh, we need more. We need more in order to see 60 patients, of course. We have a dedicated staff of undergraduate volunteers that help with the check-in processes and help with checkout processes. Uh, we have students, uh, nursing students, along with nurses that help with the vitals aspect of everything. We have dedicated phlebotomists, of course our physicians, nurse practitioners, PAs, a whole whole array of staff here at Clarks Community Health Center. My name is Sebit, uh, that's short of Sebastian, and I come from South Sudan in Africa. And uh, this is my first uh, visit today. I would like to book an appointment. I heard about this clinic from a lady known in this community called Mama Mina. Yeah. She is from Somalia. She is just helping everybody. Actually, she helped our family, my friend with his family, uh, found us a car and furniture and such, so, uh, such things like that. And uh, she is the one that told me about this clinic, uh, that even if you don't have insurance, they can sit, uh, help you. And uh, such is very important because here in America, you know, like if you don't make enough money, you cannot go to these big clinic. Uh, they're so expensive and they are out of reach of so many people. Uh, and I heard a real good things about this clinic from my family, my, my friend's family. They uh, came here, they brought their kids here. They make an appointment to have their vaccine. And it's very important, like for such these kids, they're going to get vaccinated. And, that, and also dental work that will help them for life. And I really like that because it's based on compassion, it's based on unity, people are all the same. And, and it really touched me. Like, like uh, there's so many people like me in need, they cannot afford you know, healthcare, uh, and they come to such places and they get help. Because <laughs> सबका पास ऐसे कुछ व्यवस्था नहीं है जो करता है ना उसका भलो के लिए ही करता है हां एंड पीपल डोंट हैव द मींस टू गेट दिस डन सो पीपल कोई जॉब नहीं कर सकता है कोई काम नहीं करता है बिकॉज़ दे डोंट वर्क दे आर नॉट एबल टू वर्क एंड देन पीपल लाइक दिस कमिंग टुगेदर प्रोवाइडिंग देम एन ऑप्शन टू कम उनके लिए कि कुछ शरीर अच्छा रहे तो सब अच्छा है इसीलिए उसको ट्रीटमेंट जरूरी है और उसका सब ऐसे होना ही चाहिए ऐसे ट्रीटमेंट ही सेज इफ वी ट्रीट पीपल वेल देन इट्स इंपॉर्टेंट टू कम टुगेदर एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द ऑप्शंस ऑफ ट्रीटिंग वेल माय नेम इज रहमान मोहम्मद आई आई केम फ्रॉम सोमालिया एंड देन आई ग्रो अप इन केन्या आई थिंक एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग यू इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ हेल्थ केयर इफ यू डोंट हैव इंश्योरेंस एंड देन दैट मीन यू हैव टू गो टू द इमरजेंसी एंड एंड दैट्स गोना बी हार्ड फॉर यू यू नो because the the bill still will come so it's going to be hard to have no healthcare healthcare community like every community deserve this kind of healthcare uh, community health center and they really 
help a lot of community and I think every human being because we get sick we're human we fall down we get sick anything can happen and if you don't have a place to go that's really very very sad I think every human being has to access to health care on my opinion uh, my name is Jid of Maina na nyumete mpururi wa Kenya na negenet yonego komono uh, his name is Jidraf Maina. He's from Kenya, in Africa, and he's so excited to have known this place. And my name is Chege, and I'm from Kenya as well. I dedicate to you, Kuku Maria Doke, Kuku Torodia, and Nawira. Na clinic ino ne deideti to daina shukari, daina adroites, na ru shishio dene doke to. When I first moved here, I didn't want to have work and uh, I had a serious problem with arthritis, uh, my blood pressure and my sugar level was very, very, very high and I had tried everything and I couldn't get help. When I came to this clinic, they brought my sugar level to a manageable level my blood pressure is good and my diabetes is good and I'm so glad that this clinic is there. My only prayer is that I wish it could help more people. Nationalities and languages, my God, that's, that's a lot. It's too many to count. Um, you know, we see, we see Arabic speaking patients. Uh, we, see, we see a lot of patients from East Africa, Somalia. We see patients from Ethiopia. Um, a few actually Eastern European patients as well. You know, unfortunately, I've never had to use my Bosnian language to interpret, but I'm hoping one day I will. <laughs> um, but yeah, we, we see a lot of patients, um, Southeast Asian patients, you know, from especially from um, Nepal and, and there's a few patients from Cambodia we know of. And it's just a great international community because they do call Clarkson the most diverse square mile in all of America. Not all of Georgia, all of America. And that really astonished me when I... Uh, but I realized that. I didn't know that until recently, actually. I found out about a year or two ago. But, you know, when I first started volunteering here, I'm like, there's so much diversity here. There, there's, you know, this place is special. This place is special. No, I don't know what I'm saying. 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 This clinic here embraces human rights and they treat healthcare as a human right because when you come here they don't care where you come from and they are able to, to help you as a human being and that is I've come to believe that uh, healthcare should be a human right regardless of race, color or whether you have money or you don't have you're a human being and you should have access to it. I do believe that people that need help should be able to get help, especially if they're in bad circumstances. You know, um, my parents, my family actually, when we came, we um, immigrated here from Bosnia back in uh, 1999. And, um, you know, we were in a tough position. My parents didn't know a word of English. We were refugees from Bosnia, you know, the, the war that happened there and we came here to America. And we didn't know a word of English. Um, you know, I was a little kid. And my parents were just thrown into America. I mean, we've, we got some support the few, few, first few months, but after that, you're expected to be on your own. And you can't expect someone to accumulate to a whole new lifestyle to, to be able to adjust to this lifestyle and learn the language and learn the customs and what, six months of help they provide. So my family was in a similar situation where like access to healthcare, you know, thank God, n n none of my family has a major illness, but uh, you know, I could only imagine if they did, if my mom was very sick or my father was very sick, what, what hell we would have to go through, you know, just in order to get these, um, this health care, this, this health care. And that's the, the reason I volunteer here is to uh, be able to provide that to patients, you know. Very limited in what I do, but I try to do as much as I can. This clinic helped me a lot. I'm here almost three years, I think. Um, I, um, I think the doctors are and the nurses, everybody, the volunteers are very welcoming, warm, and uh, you don't have to be afraid, you know, they have interpreters in every language. And then uh, the clinic is very important. I think the community talks about it. When you go to a wedding or a party or something, they're like, 
Did you go to Clarkston Community Health Center? It's so wonderful. And how we tell each other, like, you have to go there Sunday morning, you know, to get help. You know, you don't have, if you don't have money, it's okay. They will help you. Even blood work, you don't have to have money. They will help you. So we appreciate a lot. You know, these people work five or six days a week, and then the only day they have, they're here, you know, all day. And they're really very helpful. I never seen anybody mean or for three years. They're all very wonderful and warm and welcoming. Wonderful people. Without Team Spirit, without people working together in this clinic, it would fail. It would absolutely fail. Anyone from the board members to, to, to even the janitor lady, she, she comes in every Saturday night, she sends me a text message. I'm here to clean the clinic. Please take off the alarm. And that's what I do. <laughs> I do that for her. And she does a great job of cleaning it. Um, all of our un undergraduate volunteers, you know, they could be at home studying for a test they have on Monday, or they could be at home relaxing from school. They, you know, they're in school. Um, but no, they're here volunteering their time, you know, coming very early in the morning on a Sunday. Nobody likes to do that. Uh, and then leaving later on a Sunday. You know, our physicians, of course, you know, they could be resting as well, relaxing from a hard week at work, but no, they still come here and provide the care. And um, everyone's very communicative and very nice to each other. So that's very important in a, in a volunteer setting that, you know, everyone's very nice to each other because nobody's paid. You know, so you're doing this with your own free will. And I think the fact that it is volunteer is the fact, is why these people are nice. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you're not forced to do any of this. You're doing this out of your own will. So of course that goodness comes out of you. What do you think unites all people in the world? Uh, again, uh, the compassion deeply yes. that people believe they're the same. And uh, also sh like service and regardless who you are or what your uh, place in the society. And also it's just like uh, helping people, you know, like uh, I'm in need today and people would help me tomorrow. I'll be in a better place and then help other, other people. So for those who are donating or help such places, I really appreciate that. Yeah. And then that's united, we unite people together. Good is what unites people in this world. You know, you see so much negativity everywhere. You see it on the news, you see it on the streets, you see, and everything is so negative and people are always talking about what's negative. And you know, if you have a negative vibe about you, you don't really want to unite with people. You want to stick to yourself. You want to protect yourself. You want to be very selfish. And I understand that to a point. You want, you want to protect yourself. But um, I do believe that, that the goodness of, of people, what brings out the goodness is, is that unity. When people unite and they're able to, to unite under this common goodness that they want to help people. And that's the main reason I'm here at our Clarkson Community Health Center is just to help. We have, um, I'm, I'm certain that 100% of our volunteers are here to help, especially our long-term volunteers that have been here one, two, three, four years. You know, why else would they be here other than to help, help the people that who are underserved here at Clarkson Community Health Center? Yes. What brings people together is unity, love for mankind, and as uh, uh, supporting each other when one has a need. That's what he says that brings people together. We're all connected in this world and we have to help each other around the world. We have to make peace and love and unity. What do you think true love is? True love, wow, that's, that's a tough question. But true love is willing to do something for someone regardless of the circumstances and the outcomes. I think that's what true love is, you know, uh, I was recently married and, um, you know, I experienced true love through this because, you know, no matter what, I'll, I'll do it. Whatever you want, I'll do it, regardless of what happens to me. I've, I've realized I'm very selfless in my love. And, um, I, I, and I don't think that's reserved for specifically spouses, you know, spouses or mothers or fathers. I think true love can be shared amongst everyone, right? When we come here, a patient needs help with a certain circumstance. We try to help them out, and I, th I think that's even a minor type of true love. Where do I feel in a modo? Can I do a more than I a beza? Can I do a beza? Can I do a kid? Where do I feel? No, I'm going to go to the modo. Now, modo, can I go to the modo? True love is unity. Yes, 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 true love is unity.
true love is expressing humanity when somebody needs it. True love for me, um, many things, but things I can remember right now is something like, you know, you see people equal, you know, and you serve them. You see that they deserve help, they deserve to be treated uh, equally, uh, they deserve service. Um, and also, for me, because I'm a Christian, uh, so the Bible tells me that it's a sacrificial love like Jesus who gave his love to, you know, make, it, make us in a good place in the God's family. True love is compassionate and uh, caring and, uh, you know, understanding, open-minded. A person with open mind is, I think, make, um, you know, make it happen through love. Like if you have open-minded and you don't discriminate people, how they look or how they dress or, you know, where they come from, they have a bad accent, but you don't look at all that. You can look, it's a human being, so I can relate it to these people. We, you know, we breathe and eat and believe the same. So that's what I think makes uh, love. To see that smile on a patient's face before they leave, that's, that's absolutely beautiful to me. It fills me up with this joy that I've never felt before. You know, um, like I said, I usually work checkout nowadays because that's where you need the most experienced volunteers because they know how the clinic runs. And um, <clears throat> especially seeing that patient, you know, when you, when you say everything is good, you're good to go home, and you give them everything they need, and they just smile and, you know, and they praise you and thank you so much. And, and I tell them, it's not me, you know, I have nothing to do with it, but the fact that they're so happy that we were able to make at least this Sunday of their life a good moment 